Dear Sean, today is the day I get to marry the love of my life. I remember. I remember back to the day we, we met. I'll never forget meeting you for the first time and thinking, wow, he is handsome. Then as we sat down to dinner, I realized how kind, respectful, and genuine you are. I remember trying not to look into your eyes too long, thinking you could see right through to my feelings. We talked for hours that night at Tupelo Honey, and I knew I would fall in love with you then. You try to hide, but you want to be seen. You push away and come back to me. You're so afraid to get it wrong, but you never even get to try. Melody, it's unbelievable that I get to marry my best friend. Do I even deserve this? People search their whole lives for what I found in you so early. I still can't believe I found you. Someone I can always be myself with. Someone who loves me despite my flaws. Someone I can trust wholeheartedly no matter what. I love how patient you are. How you stay calm even in the most difficult of, si of situations. I love your sense of humor and how you turn even the most mundane chores into the most enjoyable experiences. I love how honest and passionate you are and how you always stand up for your beliefs. I love how you always are there beside me and I can ask your advice of anything. I love your attention to detail and how you notice the little things. I love how beautiful you are even when you smile. I love that you love puppies possibly more than me. I love your spontaneous and your adventureness and how you always open up to new experiences and are willing to try new challenges. I met Melody on our first day of pediatric residency and that's when our friendship began. When I arrived in Johnson City, Tennessee, I felt anxious and a bit scared to start residency. And it was actually one of my greatest fears going in that I'd be all alone. Melody's always been very easy to talk to and I think that's what drew me to her. She's a great listener and one of the nicest and most selfless people I've ever known. The best part about making a friend on the first day of residency is that we gave each other an outlet for work. The one complaint that Melody had was that she wanted a boyfriend. <laughs> and she was very disappointed by the eligible bachelors, or lack thereof, in the Johnson City area. We could run a million places I've loved you from the start until the very end This is where it all begins Life seems to go by so fast It seems like just yesterday I was walking with a very young little girl, Melody Holding her hand so she wouldn't fall down and get hurt Now, today, I had the privilege and honor of being able to walk her down the aisle and see her get married and begin the next chapter in her life with Sean. We could not be more proud. I love you so much. I promise to work every day to love you more for the rest of our lives. I promise to choose you every day, to always put us first, and to always put your needs above my own. I promise to kiss you goodnight and never to go to bed angry. I promise to work every day to be a better friend, a better husband, and one day, hopefully a better father than you can ever imagine. There is no doubt in my mind that marrying you is one of the best decisions I will ever make. At the end of this ceremony, legally, you will be husband and wife, but you still decide each day that stretches out before you that you want to be married. Real love is something beyond the warmth and the glow and the excitement and romance of being deeply in love. It is caring as much about the welfare and happiness of your marriage partner as you do about your own. But real love is not total absorption in each other. It's looking outward in the same direction together.
Sean, it's your turn to embark on your journey as a couple to experience life with such a loving partner. Melody, it's always been an honor and an absolute joy to be your mom and dad. Please join us with a toast to the bride and groom. Congratulations. We wish you the best life has to offer. It's right where we belong. This feeling that we found. It's clear to see. It's our job as all the people gathered here to support them and to love them and to carry them into their future. And I know you guys have been doing that for 30 years, but right now they need us to raise a glass, to wish them well, and to help them celebrate their love for the next few hours and for the rest of their lives. Today and every day forward, I promise to choose you and only you every day the rest of my life. 